normal probabilities in any activity using um, the solve strip. So we'll start off in head into E activity and I'll insert a uh, num solve strip from strip two here. And um, this is where we enter our equation. Uh, now we'll get the keyboard up and the first variable we want is a capital P for probability is equal to. And after that, we need to head down to the catalog of functions. And I'm looking for the num, uh, the pro norm probability. Here we go, N. And if we tap down a bit, here it is, the old norm CDF function. And the parameters for this, you might remember, if we go to the variable menu, are the lower, the upper bounds, the standard deviation, and the mean of our distribution. And we'll close the bracket and tap execute. And you can see class pads put everything in the place there. So let's see if it's working. Suppose we've got a distribution with a mean of 60. Uh, we'll tap in 60 and a standard deviation of 10. Um, I'll get rid of the keyboard a second here. And um, we're interested in the probability that uh, the, we get more than 73. So that would be the lower is 73. The upper is infinity, so we'll need the keyboard back on that one. From math 2, here's our infinity. What's the probability? So that's the default button that's checked. We tap on to solve, and it's just under 10% chance on that one. Uh, the second example on the help sheet is what about um, if it's we've got the same standard deviation of mean, but we don't know what the lower bound is, so we'll clear that one out the way. But, and we know the upper band is 65, and the probability of being between this lower band and 65 is 0 0.4. So we'll set the probability as 0 0.4, and this would normally be something we do with the inverse normal distribution in main, but here we can do everything forwards and backwards with one strip. So we'll tap solve now, and that's easy. 54.5 um, is our solution to that one. So uh, the, the third example is what about if we wanted to find a standard deviation or mean? Well, this is easy too. So suppose we don't know what the mean is. Let's clear that one out the way. Um, but we know the standard deviation is 15. So we'll change the standard deviation to 15 there. And the probably the x is less than 60. So our upper is 60. And our lower is negative infinity, negative infinity. And we know the probability of that is 0.6, so we'll change the probability to 0.6. The only thing we don't know here is the mean. So um, occasionally it's worth giving it a bit of an estimate. Now we know the upper is 60 and the standard deviation is 15, so we'd probably take a guess at somewhere around 50. But let's see what happens if we tap solve anyway. Classpad solves it anyway. 56.19 is the required solution on that one. Um, obviously, if it said it can't solve, that's where you might need to um, give it a bit of help first. And also check out the, uh, the uh, video on using NumSolve, some tips and tricks on that one. Um, you might, once we're done with this, uh, want to put some help upstairs, insert add strip help. Um, so that you can remind yourself what the parameters are. You can type away up here. We can tap cross to hide that. You might want to put in um, some text into here to remind yourself what it is. Uh, norm probabilities or something like that. Uh, and then when you're done, we can uh, save this file, save uh, as something uh, NP or something like that. Um, but you could also just add this as a strip into one of your other e-activities.